Welcome to Liberate University. Namaste, dear friends. And welcome to this uplifting devotional chanting meditation in honor of the great deathless guru, Mahavatar Babaji. So, Mahavatar Babaji is the great deathless master who initiated the spiritual movement of Kriya Yoga, which Paramahansa Yoganandaji transmitted here in the West through his organization, his spiritual organization called Self-Realization Fellowship. In India, it's called Yogoda Satsanga Society. And we are offering this to you with much love for the auspicious spiritual celebration of Babaji, which is on July 25th. And this occasion is very important uh, because it is Babaji who brought this ancient technique of meditation called Kriya Yoga. He's the one who developed it and who then spread it uh, across the globe now through a lineage of enlightened gurus or masters, avatars. Mahavatar Babaji uh, is a deathless master who has lived in the Himalayan mountains for a very long time. Uh, it is said that he's lived for about 500 years now or more. And he initiated his direct foremost, foremost disciple, Lahir Mahashai, who then initiated Swami Sri Yukteswarji, his disciple, who then initiated Paramahansa Yoganandaji into this sacred science of Kriya Yoga. So, Mahavatar Babaji is a Mahavatar, meaning a great avatar. And we call him an avatar because he has already transcended ego consciousness and has become completely one with spiritual consciousness, with divine consciousness. And so he doesn't need to reincarnate anymore because he has transcended all desires. And so now his only role in this world is to help suffering humanity through his great love and compassion by this by the use of this very powerful ancient spiritual technique which is kriya yoga so paramahansa yogananda ji in his book autobiography of a yogi uh, gives us an explanation of what Babaji is and what he represents for us. So he says, the northern Himalayan cracks near Badri Narayan are still blessed by the living presence of Babaji, Guru of Lahir Mahashai. The secluded master has retained his physical form for centuries, perhaps for millenniums, the deathless Babaji is an avatar. This Sanskrit word means descent. Its roots are ava, down, and tri, to pass. In the Hindu scriptures, avatar signifies the descent of divinity into flesh. It is Mahavatar Babaji who revived in this age the lost scientific meditation technique of Kriya Yoga. In bestowing Kriya initiation on his disciple Lahiri Mahashai, Babaji said, 
the Kriya Yoga that I am giving to the world through you in this 19th century is a revival of the same science that Krishna gave millenniums ago to Arjuna and that was later known to Patanjali and Christ and to St. John, St. Paul and other disciples. So we now see with this explanation that Mahavatar Babaji is really the one who brought from the higher ages this very powerful ancient spiritual technique. And through Kriya Yoga, through the practice of Kriya Yoga, human evolution is hastened or quickened. And it was in the higher ages that the great Illumin yogis or rishis use this uh, technique to quickly evolve spiritually until the soul would finally merge back into spirit, into the true home of omnipresence, our true home in spirit. And so in the Hindu scriptures, they talk about the cycles of creation, which are called yugas. And so these cosmic cycles of creation are very important because we now know that world, the world goes through these cycle, cyclic evolutions of consciousness, meaning we first go through the first cycle of creation called Kali Yuga, in which material consciousness predominates. So this is where ignorance and material consciousness are uppermost. Then we evolve into Dwapara Yuga, which is the age of electricity or atomic evolution. So this is where finally humanity starts to see creation as made up of light, of electricity. Then after this, we go up through another cycle called Treta Yuga, which is the age of mental development. So this is where people can communicate just through telepathy or mental evolution. And this is where a lot of the so-called miracles that, you know, we hear in the scriptures are realized through just the power of the mind. So this is where the power of the mind predominates in human consciousness. And then we get to the higher age, which, which is called Satya Yuga. And in Satya Yuga, spiritual consciousness predominates, is uppermost. So this is where God's plan of creation of evolution comes to its peak. And this is where in spiritual consciousness, every, every soul, every being merges in divine unity. So Kriya Yoga comes from these higher ages, from Satya Yuga. So as the world started to come to a, a closing descent from the Yugas and when it came back to the Kali Yuga age, this spiritual technique of Kriya Yoga was uh, lost and forgotten, basically. And it was lost and forgotten because humanity wasn't ready for this, for this very highly evolved spiritual technique. So now, um, Yoganandaji explains in the autobiography of a yogi that his guru, Swami Sri Yukteswar, explain that the world has now entered into Dwapara Yuga, which is the age of uh, electricity, the age of uh, atomic knowledge. So now humanity is more ready and more receptive to evolve spiritually through this ancient spiritual practice of Kriya Yoga. So which is why Yoganandaji was sent for in this very special and important dispensation 
to spread the teachings, the sacred teachings of Kriya Yoga. So, with Mahavatar Babaji, in the lineage of Self-Realization Fellowship, we revere this very powerful Mahavatar because of his love and compassion for suffering humanity in wanting to help others evolve through this sacred science of Kriya Yoga. So, in this auspicious celebration of the great Mahavatar Babaji, well, tune in to his sacred divine vibrations and we'll do a very special and powerful devotional chanting session to connect with the Babaji consciousness. And so Babaji consciousness is the same as divine consciousness. In Babaji consciousness, we perceive ourselves as one with all creation. So even though Mahavatar Babaji is still in the body, roaming with his band of disciples in the Himalayas, and even though he travels from place to place in the Himalayas with his advanced disciples, nevertheless, because he is now an avatar, or as the Vedic scriptures um, also refer to as a paramukta, or a manifested master, he has the power to be everywhere, anytime, at all times. So he is omnipresent. He lives in omnipresence and his essence is omnipresence. So when we think of Babaji, of Mahavatar Babaji, we shouldn't think of his body or his form. We should think, when we think of Mahavatar Babaji, we should think of the great expanding Babaji consciousness which pervades all creation, all the universe, which is one with the Father, right? One with spirit beyond creation, as well as with spirit within manifested creation. So that's why he is very powerful. Being a manifested master, he's already free. He's already completely free from all desires. And so his only role is to help us evolve spiritually. Okay, so to connect deeply with the great Mahavatar Babaji, well, practice together and get, first of all, on our right meditation posture, just very simple meditation posture with a spine straight, shoulders back, chest out, abdomen in, palms upturned, resting on the thighs near the abdomen. And the gaze of the eyes gently upturned at the spiritual eye, the point between the eyebrows, the Kutasta Chaitanya. And then we'll practice a brief breathing exercise together to help us relax our mind, relax our body, relax our senses. Then we'll open with a prayer invoking the presence of the great Mahavatar Babaji. And then we'll do a very powerful Babaji mantra called Om Kriya Babaji Nama Om. So this is the Babaji mantra, known as the great Babaji mantra, to help us raise our vibration, raise our energy, so that we can commune with the great Babaji consciousness, which is one with all creation, which pervades all ether, all manifestation, and goes even beyond manifestation into the one absolute, into cosmic consciousness itself. All right? So in our right meditation posture, We'll inhale slowly through the nose, through a count of six, about six seconds or whatever is comfortable for you. Then hold for the same amount, 
and then exhale deeply through the mouth for the same count, okay? We'll practice this for about three times or so. So let us practice now together. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Now let us hold our hands as we pray deeply with devotion, invoking the presence of the great Mahavatar Babaji. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus of Self-Realization, we bow to you all. Beloved Mahavatar Babaji, I lay at thy feet of omnipresence all the flowers of my devotion. I long to know thee. I yearn to know thee. Reveal thyself. Reveal thyself. Reveal thyself. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.
So now, let us dive deep to the stillness of meditation. Enjoying the stillness of the soul, communing with the great Mahavatar Babaji. Simply say 
and ask him to reveal himself to you. To reveal his love, to reveal his light, to reveal his bliss, to saturate your whole being in the great love of Babaji. So let us meditate together. So now, you can visualize Babaji in the spiritual eye. Visualize him there, surrounded with divine light, for he is light. And simply behold him there and feel his overshadowing presence, his divine, all-pervading presence. You can call on to him and just chant Om Babaji, Om Babaji, Om Babaji. Try to go deep, very deep, so that you feel his divine love, his divine presence within your own being. So now we'll close chanting on. Visualize all beings, the whole world, bathed in the divine light and love of the great Mahavatar Babaji.
Let us now close the prayer from our hearts. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Great Gurus of Self-Realization, we bow to you all. O oh, beloved Mahavatar Babaji, I lay at thy feet of omnipresence all the flowers of my devotion. May thy love shine forever on the sanctuary of my devotion. May I be able to awaken thy love in all hearts. Om Shanti 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 Jai Guru Jai Babaji Thank you so much, dear friends, beautiful, blessed souls, for having joined in this sacred, uplifting, devotional chanting meditation to tune in with the divine vibrations and presence of Babaji. May you always feel the love, light, and blessings of the great Mahavatar Babaji and spread his love everywhere. Namaste. Thank you for being a part of this class. We hope to see you at the next one.